Uh, hi, my name is Jürgen Schaar. I'm the founder and uh, CEO of Blockchain First. Um, I personally, I'm a software and uh, hardware engineer. Uh, I'm from Germany and I'm an entrepreneur for more than 25 years already. Uh, I'd like to tell you my personal story. Um, actually, I plan to retire this year, but in uh, January, I read an article about Ethereum and blockchain technology, and I must confess I was charmed and obsessed from the very first moment. So I decided not to retire now and uh, to face a new challenge. <coughs> um, I realized, in, uh, I mean, I would like to uh, mention that I always loved the idea to bring some piece of hardware and some piece of software together and bring something alive. So I realized that um, if Internet of Things should become widespread reality, um, it should be capable to interact with blockchain. So after a couple of months and a lot of sleepless nights, we've developed um, a piece of hardware and a piece of software. We brought it together and I'd like to show you the result of our work. And I hope you all can see this. This is our IoT device with um, uh, a light. We've developed a light client, a very light client, and this device connects direct to the blockchain. Um, what you can do with this, um, uh, I, in order to show you some uh, real sample use cases, um, We've further developed uh, these devices and I'd like to introduce them one by one. So at first, what we have here is, um, this is a little tiny box um, with our, I mean, uh, what I forget to mention is that we gave this little tiny device a name and it's called Ethan BioT, which stands for Blockchain Internet of Things. Uh, so we have this, uh, tiny board inside this box and what you can do with this you can take your standard wallet app like Jax you scan the barcode uh, pay amount of ether uh, and then in this case this is a door opener the door will open automatically so this is a use case let's say you you um, in a museum for entrance you can pay uh, amount of ether and you get entrance into a museum our second example is this uh, so-called candy dispenser. Uh, basically the same principle. You scan the barcode with a standard wallet app, you pay a small amount of ether, and then your candy drops out of this. Uh, I'm sure you can imagine I cannot bring a vending machine here because it was would be too big. But this is a small vending machine, right? And uh, you, you can put this uh, Ethan BioT device actually in every vending machine. Um, our third and probably most sophisticated use case is our smart meter. This is a standard break box and um, our smart meter is basically just like this. And what we have here, you can uh, actually we have uh, two use cases. You can pay um, electricity in advance, so prepaid, so you send some uh, you pay um, uh, amount of ether to the address of this smart meter and then the power turns on and off until the the electricity is consumed what you paid for uh, the second use case is actually this um, always uh, called rbnb without rbnb so you can put this device in your house uh, we have an application and a smart contract, and you can rent out your house. Um, the customer can, can uh, use an application, uh, make a reservation for this house, and uh, you have to drop an uh, um, amount of ether into a smart contract. And as you approach the house, you can just scan the barcode, the door, um, which you can connect to this smart meter, will open automatically and the power turns on in the house and the consumption of uh, electricity is consumed by this smart meter. After renting time is over, um, the, the customer just have to confirm this smart contract. The, the uh, period of time um, he rent the house and uh, for the consumption of electricity and everything else is handled by a 
smart contract. So the actually this is uh, this example Airbnb without this intermediate Airbnb. Our um, last but not least, our fourth example is a standard light bulb. So what we have done here is we also put this small device in a standard light bulb and you just can pay this light bulb in order to get some light out of this bulb. So you may think, what is this for? So let's imagine um, this light is something special. So in the light, what comes out is um, in order to improve your health somehow. And this cost would cost, um, let's say, $2,000. So uh, instead of buying this expensive bulb, uh, you get it for free by some supplier. And uh, the customer just uh, pay for uh, every usage cycle, for every use cycle, sorry. Um, and I'm sure you can imagine you can do this with every appliances like washing machines, TV sets, um, and every other appliances somehow. Uh, yeah, that's basically is about our ideas to bring Internet of Things and blockchain together. And uh, one more thing. I have one more thing. This is uh, what's coming next. It's uh, still a prototype, but um, we continue developing these um, ideas. And what we have here is um, basically the same principle. We have uh, uh, our Ethan IoT device integrated and um, cellular modem. So you can put a SIM card inside. That means you, have you are always connected. And uh, this is an ODB connector. You can put it in your car uh, and rent out the car to, to everybody. This is the same principle as Airbnb or Uber. Yeah, that's it with uh, Internet of Things or how we bring Internet of Things and blockchain together. And if you would like to see this, uh, all these devices in action, we have a booth outside and uh, I'm looking forward uh, you come over and uh, check it out. Thank you and bye-bye. <laughs>